Hi there again. As I promised, I'd come back with a couple of recipes. I've got the uh, lamb already up and running, so we won't be doing the atawala gosh. That's the lamb in with cashew nuts in a tomato and coconut sauce. So these are in the background. So I'm going to do show you the the chutney de merg. Okay, chutney de merg is basically chicken in a mint and coriander chutney, uh, and the chutney is. Um, well, I'll do it in a smaller capacity for you. There's a, uh, a bunch of coriander, a bunch of mint, um, 10 cloves of garlic, six green chilies, and a pack of desiccated coconut. It's all blitzed up, a little bit of water and some lemon juice in there, and then you add the coconut. You leave that sort of marinating there nicely. And then I've cooked the chicken off, just poached it off in some water here with some turmeric and black pepper. And um, now I'm going to make the sauce. So uh, we have three onions and uh, six more cloves of garlic, an inch of ginger, all going in there to be the base of the sauce. Okay, so we'll give that a good stir out. So it's quite garlicky this one because it's got garlic in the chutney and you've got garlic in with your onions and ginger. So you've got so that is the base. The spices are all in with the chicken here, so that's all, all it is, is just a touch of turmeric and some black pepper and a bit of salt and that's all, all the ground spices because the rest is in the chutney. So we'll cut that off. So I uh, hope you've got your order in for tonight's curry. Not quite as busy as last week's uh, uh, start up one. But it's still nice to be having people come around to the back door for a Thursday night curry. Uh, we've probably got a, a good few, well, a few more weeks worth before we can open the doors again. But uh, we are looking forward to it. We would you know, much better to welcome you into our place than uh, be doing these little videos all the time. Although they are quite good fun. So uh, hopefully in about three weeks time we'll be opening the doors in some form or other. We're getting prepared with lots of new um, cleaning regimes and uh, sanitizer stations and wipes and stuff. It all seems a far cry from the uh, the heady days of yesterday, eh? But anyway, we're, we're getting ready for it and hopefully we'll be back up and running uh, as soon as uh, I can get my hands on some beer. Because it wouldn't be much good with a pub with no beer, would it? So that's what we're hoping. So I'm uh, just frying off these onions here, just trying to get them to amalgamate and soften up. Meanwhile, whilst that's taking its time, I'll also start on the, uh, the potato curry as well, just, uh, just to keep things going. Right, so I've got the potatoes here, just new potatoes which are boiled off. So that's, uh, I'll leave that on the back. And I'll start a fresh pot. So the potato curry is a very um, rich tomato and tamarind sauce uh, into which I need a little bit of oil. And for this one here I've got a couple of onions chopped up an inch of garlic and half a dozen green chilies. So they're going in as the base. And spice wise here, I've got some more dried red chilies, curry leaves, a spoon of turmeric, a spoonful of curry, uh, cu sorry, cumin seeds, and a couple of spoons of ground coriander. Obviously, tone it down for the sort of numbers you'll be doing at home because that's for a big pot like this. Um, so that's the, the gubbins that's going to give it a bit of a kick. And as I say, it's got six green chilies in as well. So this is not a meek or mild vegetable curry. This one will have a bit of a kick to it. Um, and uh, we are using tomato paste and also tamarind paste, which is the... Uh, you can get it from the health food shop at the top of the high street. Um, it's a bean that they use in India a lot. Um, this has been 
processed so into a, a nice little paste. It's quite concentrated, so you don't need too much of it. But it is lovely. It's sweet and sour, and it uh, complements the tomato a lot. So that's good. Got two pots on the go now. I'm uh, multitasking. Right, so into this uh, one we've also got mustard seeds. That's the other thing that uh, is in this potato curry. So I'm using the whole grain mustard itself. It's a little bit sharper because it has a bit of vinegar in it. But generally speaking, whole grain mustard contains nothing more than mustard seeds, salt and vinegar. So it's um, quite a good way of having something instant if you like. It's my little tip for using mustard seeds. Otherwise, I've used the dried ones. You have to fry them off till they pop. Sometimes they burn. But it tastes quite so nice. I prefer it this way. So I can hear it sizzling away now. The smells are good. The onions there, or the chicken, are still taking their sweet time. Such a big pot, that's why. A little bit smaller on the front one, so I'm going to put the spices in now. And I say there's a spoonful of cumin, two spoonfuls of ground coriander, half a dozen red chilies, and about a dozen or so curry leaves. And there we go. So that's all cooking off nicely, just give it a little bit of a time to let the oils out of the spices into the base mix. And now I'm going to put the tomato puree in. I'm using a whole tin, obviously you'll only use a couple of spoonfuls for at home. But uh, obviously now I need a bit of stock for this, so I'm going to use the potato water because you don't want to waste the uh, potato water, do you? It's got flavours, there's a potato curry after all. So, into that I'm going to put the potato water. And that's uh, pretty much there now. I'm going to have to cook that out for a bit more. Put a bit more water through it. And then I'll uh, refresh my potatoes, chop them in half and stick them back in there. So that's the Samatar, obviously, I almost forgot. You need a couple of spoonfuls of the tamarind paste. That would have been a bit of a disaster. Telling you all about it, they're not using it. Anyway, I'm going to put that on the back now. Let that simmer away, and I'll add the potatoes in a minute. Bring forward the chutney de mayo. So the onions, garlic, and ginger. I've now softened up nicely and I'm going to now put the chicken, liquor and all, into there. I'm going to let that cook out for a little bit and then we add the chutney and it'll go a vibrant green and cook that through just for a little bit longer and that will be the chutney limo so there we go hopefully i'll see some of you this evening if not next week and soon we'll open the doors and we'll have a pint together thanks a lot take care